Hey guys, today is all about this Curl Kalan taper cut wig. Yes, y'all, it's crocheted. So stay tuned. As we proceed to give you what you need. Alright guys, here are a few things you're going to need for this tutorial. Make sure you check out the description box below this video for all details. Let's get into this hair. As you guys know, I use Curl Kalan's hair collection. I got five boxes of various curls. So I'm going to definitely go through that with you guys. You guys know how I do. I work very hard to get you some sort of discount. So when you're over at curlkalan.com, make sure you use checkout code MA15 to save 15% off. That checkout code expires January 24th, 2016. All right, for my first layer, I'm going to be using the Tony Curl. I got two boxes of this 10 inch curl and I got it in 1B. Each box of Curl Kalan curls comes with 20 pieces. What you're seeing me do here is I am separating those pieces. This is going to give me a softer, fluffier effect. All right, let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to simply take my mesh wig cap and I'm going to insert the crochet needle in an upward motion right above that band. And then I'm going to do a simple hook and latch. Now I'm going to stick the crochet hook back into the top of the mesh wig cap and I'm going to simply pull that hair back through. All right, let's see that again. Latch the curl collant here. Pull it through the band of the wig cap. Pull the ends of the crocon line hair through the loop that was made by the crochet needle. And now to add extra security, I'm going to pull that back through the top of the wig cap band. And I'm going to simply repeat this process all the way around the perimeter of this mesh wig cap. You'll see that I left a lot of spacing in between each curl because you don't want it to be too condensed. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to build on top of that layer using a brick method, which means I'll be laying my curl colon curls in between each one of those large spaces until I get to about this part. All right, now I'm going to move on to the carry curl. This is the second lar largest curl from the Curl Kalan collection, and I got this in the color TT27. I also separated these curls because I didn't want my hair to look too perfect. I'm simply going to go in and I'm going to place those just like I did using the brick method in between each one of those gaps, making sure that the hair is full and fluffy. This is the effects of one box that I split in half, making 40 pieces. Now I realize that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to wear this hairstyle. I didn't know if I was going to wear it off of my face. I didn't know how I was going to wear it at this point. So I decided to go back in with the Tony curl, which is the original curl that I was using, and fill in the front perimeter. Now we're moving to my fifth and final box, which is the Sanaya Curl. This is the second largest curl that Curl Kalan offers. I got this in the TT27, and I am also going to separate these curls, which will give me about 40 curls. I'm going to go in and just fill in those spaces like I did before until I get the wig completely finished. I'm going to simply loop the, loop the hair through, twist the loop, and loop it through again. This gives a very secure finish, and uh, yeah, it's that simple. So let's look at the technique I used on the inside of the wig with the curl curlcon here. All right, now that I have majority of my hair on this wig cap and the hair is looking pretty full, I'm going to go back and check for any areas that are sparse. And I'm just going to go in and fill those in using various curls. You guys know I use three different curls. Around the perimeter, I tend to stick with the tighter curl because if you look at your the way your natural hair is, your hair is tighter around your perimeter because it tends to be a little shorter. So I just kind of went with that whole theory. All right, now that I got the wig to the thickness that I want, I'm going to simply prep my hair. I started with six cornrows and I'm going to take my wig cap and put my hair up in that wig cap. Now I'm placing the wig on. You guys, I don't know what I was thinking, but I obviously do not have this wig on in the right angle. But luckily, when I start cutting, I didn't mess anything up. But I'm starting off cutting what I thought was the back of the tapered cut. And then I'm going to realize, uh, yeah, right there, that it was not the back. But luckily I'm doing a taper cut all the way around, so it worked out perfect. I just went from there and I started to get my length and just an understanding of how short I can take this wig. Once I got to a point where I knew that, okay, this is going to be a cute shape, I then removed the wig and put it back on the wig head to finish the cut in the back. 
I highly recommend this. It's very hard to cut an even taper cut in your own head. So uh, yeah, I recommend that you do it this way. I then placed the wig back on and I went back in and just did any fine tuning. Just going in and just really just making the wig my own. Shaping it to my face, shaping it to my head. After, you know, 30 minutes of trimming each curl by curl, Yes, I have this beautiful, natural looking taper cut crochet wig. Yes, so I literally can take this off at night. And uh, how dope is that, right? So make sure you guys visit curlcolon.com and use checkout code MA15 to save your 15%. And I'll see you guys in my next video. 